Why were those Mus'abs there? I've got them on video. They're circulating now. Abdulaziz was approached yesterday as well, and there are others who've approached him. The Book of Allah sitting at the back there with alcohol, drug dealers in the back, stored with rubbish. I'll deal with that issue first, because that's the priority that we need to look at. The other issues we are going to bring. So, the people responsible for buying this masjid in 1997, I was one of them. There were four others. <coughs> Three of us have decided and taken advice and counseled community members over the last couple of years concerning the state of affairs in the masjid. And we've looked at the legitimacy of the individuals who've been appointed. But I want to go into another matter. I've told you about the Mus'hafs at the back that you can go and check. The charity registered number that is out there now at the moment is a new charity number, new name, new number, same name, same address, different bank accounts. It's not the original bank account that is registered with this property. You've got to ask yourselves, what were they doing? They wanted to transfer this property, this land, over there as well to consolidate their leadership. Why couldn't they do that? This is private property. I've got in the bag there the date, the title deeds and everything of myself and those of us who bought the masjid. This is why they were unsuccessful in making that move. We've complained to the Charity Commission, I've got the letters there, and they're investigating the matter as well. And I've got recordings of the conversation with the Charity Commission that when they realised that the owners of the masjid weren't involved in setting up this new charity with a new number, with a new bank account, to move the money into that new bank account, they said this is maybe something that shouldn't have been done. Something that shouldn't have been done. Now, when we've gone to the people of knowledge, scholars, and they've been involved with those scholars, and I'm going to say, they maybe didn't hear this, Sheikh Salih Suhaimi said about the individuals, one of the main ones standing there, they are like foxes. They are like foxes. Sheikh Mohammed Maliki refused to co-op speak to them any longer, looking at what they've done. And Sheikh Salih Suhaimi said, and I mentioned him, Abdul Hamid, when he was here in the conference, it's not Khuruj, because you know they're going to cry, Khuruj, you're taking over this. It's not Khuruj to get rid of this administration in this masjid now. It's not Khuruj. Sheikh Mohammed Maliki said get rid of them in any way or form because they do not represent the community anymore. They represent their own interests. My brothers, today what is happening is the process of change that is going to be taking place. These individuals will not be representing or part of the masjid administration as from these first few coming days. By hook, or by crook. Those of you who've known me from years before know I don't mince my words. These are no empty promises. No threats, but no empty promises. The individuals on this charity that they've established, if it's established that this charity that they've done is a false charity using the same name, same address, different bank account, then it's going to be nullified. If the Charity Commission decides not to nullify it, let them go and set up some other organisation with the same name elsewhere. But this building <coughs> belongs to the original charity number that is owned by myself, Sheikh Suleiman Abdul Sabor, Sheikh Tamim Osman, and including Sheikh Kamal. Sheikh Kamal is with them, but the three owners are emphatically against what has been happening here. <clears throat> I've got a voice note from Sheikh Suleiman Abdul Sabor when he visited the masjid last week. And when he saw what he saw, he was disgusted. And he sent a message and he said, please share this with the community. Those of you who know Sheikh Suleiman Abdul Sabor, he's one of the old school, old school individual. They can cut the mic, but they can't cut the voice. Notice how some of them, the khutbah that Umar did yesterday, very good khutbah, mashallah to barakallah, very good khutbah. But did he know that he was talking to himself? Did he know he was talking to his own administration? What is more evil? I'll revert back to it. What is more evil than what was done with the Qur'ans? And then today Abdul Aziz is rallying around people, getting people to click tree. What is more evil than that? What justification? And it's been there for a long time. And they've been spoken to about that. Sorry, sorry. The Qur'ans. Can you just elaborate? What was at the back of the, uh, the, the yard? I'm just asking. There were Qur'ans dumped at the back of the yard. Yeah. Uh, under rubbish. Yeah. There's a car that's at the back on our land, which yeah. uh, heroin crack users are using. Drug um, dealers are using, and if you go and look in the back of the car, they've moved it now because they want to remove all evidence. 
people were sleeping in there, putting their feet on the mushaf. You'll see the mushaf on the floor in the car, and you'll see that the drug dealers were using those mushafs and everything there. That's what's in the back. And they were aware of this as well. They were it? aware of this. They were made aware. There are brothers sitting here who know they were aware. So, Iqbal, I'm not going to get into the ins and outs. All I'm saying is this. Alhamdulillah, the owners have decided that we are going to take back the administration and management and appoint those of you, appoint those of you who really care for this community and are ready to put in the work and take the community forward. Not the stagnation that we've seen here lately and Omar giving kutbas like we see we see in some of the other lands where the kutba is done to please the people in administration. Not the last minute things because there's pressure that Abdulaziz has got people running and coming to do the work here. Not Ibrahim putting things on his, his, um, his profile saying, are you going to be with the group of good and the group of evil? Yeah, you should be with the group of good. Ikwan, you should be with the group of good all of the time. You should look for the khair. Okay, now it's time to change that process and there are people who are going to be put in place to change that process. What I want you to be clear on, as owners of this masjid, we did it before with the, 